For my John Muir Trail through hike, I got a new sun shirt and I chose the Outdoor Research Women's Echo Hoodie. Now that I finished my through hike and I had ample time to test it out, I wanted to review it and let you all know what I thought. So here goes. This sun hoodie is only 3.9 ounces and it's made from recycled polyester. The company boasts that it's, it has an odor control feature, it's quick drying, it's moisture wicking, and it has a UPF rating of 15. It also has a ponytail port in the back if you're into that sort of thing. Doesn't really work with my side braid, but what are you gonna do? I was not familiar with UPF rating, so I looked it up so that I can tell you guys about it. UPF rating stands for ultraviolet protection factor, and it's the scale that they use when they're looking at fabrics and how much sun protection they give. So a UPF of 15 is really kind of the minimum that you want to have if you're going to be out in the sun. And what a UPF of 15 means is that it, it lets 1 15th or about 6.7% of ultraviolet radiation through the shirt to your skin. So if you have a UPF rating of 30, that means it lets 1 30th of radiation through or about 3.3%. The skincare foundation recommends that you wear clothes with a UPF of at least 30, but again, 15 is still considered good. Lighter fabrics tend to have a lower UPF than darker fabrics. So with this hoodie specifically, because I have a light color, the UPF is only 15, but some of the colors have a UPF of 20. I found a good REI article explaining UPF in more detail. If you're interested, I'll put that down in the show notes. And they also say that Tighter woven fabrics have a higher UPF than looser fabrics, and also polyester and nylon give more protection than natural fabrics. So first, let me tell you what I liked about this shirt. First of all, I find it to be super, super comfortable. It's really lightweight, like I said, it only weighs 3.9 ounces, and it just feels really light and thin and comfy on my skin. Like I have had sun shirts in the past that were not the most comfortable, and I didn't necessarily want to wear them in the sun because they made me feel a lot, a little bit hotter than if I was just wearing a tank top. But with this shirt, I actually wanted to wear it every single day. It's comfortable. It makes me feel a lot cooler than if I'm just out in the sun in a tank top. And it definitely felt like it was keeping the sun's rays off of me. JMT is a really sunny, really exposed trail which kind of drove me bananas. Like there were hours of the day when there would be not a lick of shade. And so this shirt really kept me feeling sane, honestly. I don't know what I would have done without this shirt. Make sure you bring some protection if you go on the JMT. I also really liked that it did tend to dry really quickly and it did keep moisture off of my skin. And I wore this shirt for 10 days without a shower or laundry in a row. And I can't say that it didn't smell at all, but the smell was minor, honestly. It, it did not smell that bad after 10 days, which I call a win. A couple of things that I didn't like, and these are kind of shallow. Number one, the color's not as vibrant as it was in the marketing photos. I wish this color was a bit more vibrant, but it is a pretty thin shirt. So I think that's really why it's maybe not as vibrant. And number two, it got stained really quickly. I put this through the wash a couple of times since I've been home and still it's got dirt stains all over. It's got pit stains. So if anyone knows any great tricks to get stains out of clothes, let me know. But I am a little frustrated that I only wore this on a, a 16 day backpacking trip and already it's got pretty bad stains on it. This shirt was not cheap. I paid $75 for it at REI, so I would expect it to be a little more stain resistant, especially considering it is meant to be worn outside. And then I'll also say the outdoor research calls this a four season base layer, but it's really quite thin. I honestly, I cannot see this shirt working as a base layer in the winter. Like I'm not gonna go take this shirt out skiing, for example. So I would just use this as more of a three season shirt, especially great for summer. Obviously the JMT was pretty warm, especially in the middle of the day. So it worked great, but in really cool conditions, I think that I would go with something a little thicker for a base layer, honestly. 
Okay, so that's what I think about the shirt. I would give it about a 4.5 out of five stars. Really like this hoodie. Honestly, I wanna get another color of it. I really like it and I definitely see continuing to wear this shirt and maybe other colors of this shirt in the future. I'll put a link to the shirt down in the show notes in case you wanna get one for yourself. So I hope that you found that helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more hiking, backpacking, and outdoor content. Thanks for being here and I'll talk to you later.